this is Lady Lex UK and this is a Project Spark tutorial. Today I'm going to be looking at the Interact and different ways that you can play about with it. Now this is a third person adventurer brain, standard brain. Let's have a look at it and somewhere down here is the detect code. So this says detect interactable objects in front, highlight them yellow, Play, put a middle mouse button or a B above it to say it's interactable and when that button is pressed you interact with it and inside the object will be whatever that interact does normally it powers on the object uh, as we shall see so if we look at the chest for example it says when it is interacted power on and the power on for chest is it will open up and the same with the door so let's have a look see how that works in action so you go to the chest it highlights in yellow it puts a B somewhere sort of in the middle of the chest there and over here the door so I'll interact with the door and the door powers on and opens up and the chest opens up disappears and I can collect my coin okay so that's the normal standard interaction for uh, what happens this is what happens normally with a normal brain so let's play about with it a bit now the obvious thing to do here is we we can change the color so let's let's change the color to purple now instead of a yellow highlight you've got a purple highlight well that's that's very nice and that can be uh, something for your game so it's slightly different it's purple but that's not very exciting, is it, really? Um, you can also change the thickness of the line. Uh, so modifier strength, and let's change that number to uh, three. Try it out now. I think you can see, there we go. The strength is now uh, a thicker line. So it's a bit thicker of the door it's a bit thicker now okay so that's so that's there we go so you can do that um now then uh we can change uh let's go back to yellow standard um we can change this strength um to be a random number so let's uh let's create a random number So we'll create a random number. Random equals random number between naught uh, to three. We decided three was a nice thick number. That looked good. So we're now highlighted yellow with a random strength. Now what happens is it flickers. That's quite a nice effect. So um, it's sort of shimmering away uh, with your highlight there. This is looks like with the door. That's a really good indication that you need to do something with that door. It's shimmering away. Right, the other way you could do a sort of a shimmer effect uh, is to change the colour of it. So uh, let's create a random colour. Um, so we'll create a random colour number. So equals a random number between 0 to 1. And we'll create a color variable. Oops, that's affected on that color variable. Color equals. Oops, color. Oops, sorry. Color hue equals. And that's our random color. And we'll take the strength out here and you change it to color it okay so let's try that so now it's flushing all the colors 
sort of rainbow effect to say this is an interactable object. Okay, that's sort of nice. Um, I think it's a little bit a bit too bold, so let's change it from 0.1 to 0.15 and see what that does. Now, it's, it's a very subtle shimmer going on there. I don't know if you can see that. It's a very subtle little shimmer there because it's changing its colour from yellow to a slightly orangier yellow. You can experiment with the with the numbers to get the effect that you want. But I think that's quite good. Uh, so there's a slight shimmer on the door. And you can also combine that of course with the strength as well so we've got the the hue going on and we could have the random strength as well let's see that i think you can see the color change a little bit more it says it's shimmering away with its slightly different colors and that's quite an effective uh, interaction effect. So there you go. So that's that. Now then, that B button appears above the object. It says here, above it, above it. Now, sometimes that's not suitable for uh, an object. So we can change that. So let's change, uh, change it to uh, positioning at world position it and then positioning socket center position and I think we'll test it now we go over to the chest very nearly in the same position it's the center of the bottom of that uh, chest which is I think fine and on the door now it's much more centered to the door rather than being above it and i think that's better for a door to have it there that makes more sense and sometimes i think for, when you have doors or very large objects um the b is way up uh, out of the line of sight of the of the player it's better to have it near the door handle uh on the b uh, and you can also position it where you want to independently of the player so I've put some code in these in this chest that uh, sets a vector that says uh, the top side position is where I want to show uh, my B button and in uh, this one I've set it the center position because I quite like it but I mean we can set it where we want uh, now obviously a door hasn't got um, a tail or a shoulder or a knee but be, let, let's see right elbow let's see where the right elbow on a door is uh okay so we go into our player and instead of displaying uh it at, at its center position it will display it at its show position what we set okay so There we go. So that's that's that B is now above, a little bit more above uh, the chest, and right elbow on a door is apparently the floor, but that's fine. That works out for me. So if you wanted something to uh, display the B button, to display a slightly different place, um, that's the way to do it. You can move it uh, however you want to. So there we go. So we've moved the B button and we've highlighted it in a slightly different way let's make it so that the b button needs to be held down so uh, we want to remove that and remove that so when b is held down we want to set um our button is incremented by a value of one and 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to display underneath that B I'm going to display a circle so uh, we're going to objects gallery picker icons and we want a circle we want the small circle that one there and I already know that uh, the scale of this um, needs to be uh, 2.2 .2. All right, and the position uh, priority 1 I think, have I got this right in the right way? I never remember whether this is the right way around or not. Let's let's see. Let's check. Oh, sorry. I haven't told it where to display it. At will position, it show. There we go. So it's now got a, uh, a circle uh, behind that B. Okay. And we need to set the scale um, to be uh, a size. Okay. So uh, we say um, size equals uh, one plus uh, our button. button divided by 60 is what we want whoops I've already put these numbers in right 60 size equals 1 plus the button size the button is incremented by 1 when you let the button go so when it's released button a equals zero so uh, and we'll display the size of that button there okay let's see how that works So that goes up like that. So it gets bigger, 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 bigger. And let it go. So we will do it. So when it gets to the size of that white circle, it'll it open up your chest. So right when uh, size. whoops equals two whoops where's the interact buttons interact and size equals two interact let's just try that out boom and it's, lo and behold, it yeah. perfect. Now the trouble now is our B is is really big, so anything you interact with after that is going to be 
too big so we put an extra thing in so you interact and button equals zero and size equals zero so we'll interact with the door first shall we so we'll interact with the door boom our door is open and then we'll go interact with the chest boom and our chest is open so it's a nice little hold thing i just i don't know if you noticed we'll just test that again so if i let go it'll go straight back to zero boof boof so you 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 what you've got there is a uh, a hold button and you can use that for all sorts of things i find that that's a nice nice easy way with the, the white circle but you could do it there's other ways you could animate um a turning circle so you get a a, a, a circle a partial circle moving around that's actually quite difficult to implement i find this, this is the easiest one so there you go there's there's some interesting things to do with the interact and i'm sure there are lots of other ways that you can improve it um I mean, I could think of loads. I could, I could spend all day doing these, um, and probably will. Uh, so, for example, instead of highlighting it, why don't you hologram? It doesn't like strength. Hang on, hologram. Let's see, what does that do? We can hologram. Oh, it's done that. How lovely. Don't like that personally but there you go there we go it's hologramming the uh, the object there's lots of ways you could do it um or we can forget hologramming it at all um so when uh, interacted you can whoops play fx gallery picker what do we want? We want to sparkle, don't we? Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Sparkle. On. It. Can you see? It's sort of sparkling very subtle so instead of a, a highlighter it's just a bit sparkly the door's a bit better look sparkling away so you know that you can interact with it so there's lots of things you can do to make your game a little bit more unique so you're not using the standards uh what else could we do um Obviously, you can change this B button to to uh, anything you like, and then uh, any sort of button press. I don't think I need to change. Show you that, um, but you could do that. Um, what else? I I the, the B button might might not be might not be necessary to to show. So just delete the B button entirely. So you're wandering through your world and you just look for sparkly things oh i can interact with that there we go obviously a hold button situation with a sparkly thing probably not the best way because the player doesn't know that uh, it's working but there you go so you don't have to have the b button display you can remove it entirely so i hope that was useful to you and uh Leave in the comments if you want to leave suggestions for other tutorials or, or ways that uh, you'd like to see this one 
added to maybe i can uh, do a, a revised one of all your ideas of how to make the interactions a little bit more interesting uh but thank you for watching and keep sparking